first generation of computers they were using vacuum tubes as the main electronic components the first generation of computers they were using only one type of language that is the machine level language transistor is the main electronic circuit or component of second generation of computers only few computers or technologies coming up or emerging out as based on ai technology dear students welcome to computer science classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysore students let us start our discussion with the concept generations of computer so in this session we are going to talk about generations of computer now in our previous session we have discussed about the history of computers so after the history of computers and all developments in the field of computer science or we are going to study under the heading generations of computers now let us start with first generation of computers in all the generation of computers the main concept is only the main electronic components they were using in computers so based on this we have five generations of computers so what is first generation of computers first generation of computers they were using vacuum tubes as the main electronic components now we can see this is the picture of electronic wall or vacuum tubes another name is electronic wall and students these thing we used to see in maybe long back in old the radios were very big in size and there they were using a electric wall as the main electronic component so similar to this this is electric wall and it is the first gen generation of computer is a electrical computer so this is vacuum tube or electric wall it was the main electronic component in first generation of computers and vacuum tubes were for the switching circuits and they were using magnetic drums for memory and it was the magnetic drums they were using it to store data and information and it was very large in size and occupied a lot of space and this electric walls and in a computer first generation computer and it used to occupy a room space generally they used to set up in one room space and in that particular computer they were using thousands of electric wall as the main electronic component and not only that there were very long a very lengthy electrical circuit was there so because of that the size was very large in size and occupied a lot of space and this is a electric wall generally electrical this wall it used to generate a lot of heat so this if you imagine that in one setup of first generation of computers they were using thousands of watts so obviously it used to generate or they produce enormous amount of heat and it was this computers was very expensive so these are the characteristics of first generation of computers and here we are talking about the main electronic component it was vacuum tubes or electrical walls so first generation of computer is electrical computer now let us say in the next slide and again about first generation of computer they used consume large amount of electricity because this is of electric wall so it used to consume large amount of electricity operated only on machine level languages and during the first generation of computers they were using only one type of language that is a machine level language it is a language of zeros and ones that was the first language they were using in first generation of computers and input was based on punch records and paper tapes this punch records we have seen in the history of computers and in the jacquard's loom in that design that was as i told you that was the first storage medium developed in the field of computer science and input was in the form of punched cards and paper tapes and output was obtained as printout 
and it was the output. So actually, he the first generation of computer, they were using input devices, output devices, and also a memory devices or memory equipment to store data and information. So, and here, ENIAC, EDVAC, and UNIVAC are the, or belong to first generation of computers. And during those days, they were using ENIAC, it was based on, or it was, working with the principle of first generation of computers and these are all examples for first generation of computers. Now let us move on to next slide. Here second generation of computer. So after first generation, next one is second generation of computers and here the main electronic component was transistor. Now we can see the picture of transistors. Now we can see that this transistor is an electronic component. So as compared to previous electric valve, so it is electronic component and it was very small in size as compared to electric valves. So here transistor is the main electronic circuit or component of second generation of computers. And because of that, the computers become smaller in size. And so because of the size of this equipment of this electronic device transistor is very small, the size has been come down and it is faster as compared to previous generation of computer and economical energy and efficient and more reliable than their first generation of computers. And it produced considerably amount of heat, even though it is electronic device, it used to generate considerable amount of heat as compared to electric valve. And they were used in punctured card for input and printout for output. And they were using assembly level languages for in second generation of computer. And memory was in the form of magnetic core technology. So these are the features of second generation of computers. The main component was transistor. It is an electronic component, electronic device. And because of this, size has been come down. It has been reduced and it is more efficient as compared to first generation of computers. And it used to generate considerable amount of heat and input was in the form of punctured card, print out as output and they were using magnetic core technology as a memory. So this is second generation of computers. Now let us move on to next slide. Next one is third generation of computers. So what is the third generation of computer? And here the main electronic component was ICs, we say ICs are integrated circuit. So this ICs, if you can see the diagram or the picture of this, so integrated circuit as a main electronic component and transistor were made a smaller in size and placed onto silicon chip so to form an IC. So what is an IC then? Integrated circuit is nothing but it is made up of number of transistor circuit. If I talk about transistor inside that we can see electronic circuit. So ICs are made up of number of transistors circuits and they used to place it on a silicon chip and to form one IC or one integrated circuit. So this was the main electronic component in third generation of computers. And because of this, increase the speed and efficiency of the computer and keyboard is the input device. This stage, they were using keyboard as input device and monitors and printouts as output device and the, they were using LSI and VLSI. LSI stands for large scale integration and VLSI stands for very large scale integrations technology they were using as a electronic component. These are the features of third generation of computers. Now let us move on to next slide. So next fourth generation of computer and here microprocessor. Now you can see the picture of that. So the main electronic component is microprocessor and the present day computer what we are using today is belongs to fourth generation of computer. So microprocessor is the main electronic component in today's computer. So what is a microprocessor? The main microprocessor is a main component as thousands of ICs 
were built on to a single silicon chip and what is this ic ic is made up of so number of ic's and to form one microprocessor so if i talk about one microprocessor inside this thousands of integrated circuitry were there to form a one a silicon chip that is called microprocessor so because of this now the size has been come down now you know now we have been using this computers so all these, now you can see the size of the this computer and you can compare the size with the first generation of computer so first generation of computer it i mean it could occupy a room space and now today's computer if we talk about pc or desktop computers you can see the size of the computer so it has considerably size has been come down and it is more powerful more efficient and they link it to form a network so present day computer it works with the network technology i mean we are able to connect computers in network so this is fourth generation of computers next one is fifth generation of computer present and beyond and this is ai or artificial intelligence so nowadays we are familiar with the word ai so that is artificial intelligence so what is artificial intelligence is a technology now as we have learned so far computer is a dump machine it used to uh, work based on instructions given and it cannot think on its own it used entirely it used to depend on the user or the programmer or the programs so but nowadays say so what is ai ai stands for artificial intelligence the the concept is we are making a computer to think like human beings and already what you have learned in basics of computer computer doesn't have any brain so as human beings we can think on ourselves similarly we are making a computer a machine to think like human being that is a concept of artificial intelligence so the fifth generation computer devices based on ai and are still in their development stage nowadays still now as and today only few computers or technologies coming up or emerging out as based on ai technology and again it is on development stage and obviously it will be more powerful i mean they could be linked to form a network I mean used to work with the network so this is the concept of the ai and here it belongs to fifth generation of computers now let us move on to next slide so next one is next concept is classification of computers now as we have learned so far history of computers next generation of computers next one is classification of computers and this classification can be done on two or three categories or two or three concepts one is classification based on principle of operation so it is a concept of a classification it is based on principle of operation or working of computer system so based on that we have three types of computer three classification one is analog computer digital computer and hybrid computer now let us see what is analog computer analog computer is a computing device that works on continuous range of values with a minimum value and maximum value so here and the analog analog deals with quantities that vary continuously now students you might have heard what is analog what is analog signals i mean this computer used to work with analog as data we say analog as signal what is analog signal analog signals are in the form of waves that is different forms of waves so that is analog data very good example before I continue with this i'll give you an example like you might have heard familiar with ecg machine electrocardiogram so what is electrocardiogram say that is we used to know the condition of a heart of a human being so whenever if you look at the output of that ecg report then it is nothing but a type of a continuous value it is a type of graph very lengthy graph so that is analogous information so this is the type of computer to it used to work with those type of 
input and used to generate a result in the form of analogous information. So that is why we say it used to work with continuous range of values. If you look at the graph of any ECG, you can see that there is a very in different output, isn't it? So that is the meaning of it. It used to continue it to work with continuous range of values minimum to maximum value. This is analogous computer and it is a computer it used to work with analogous data. So what is analogous data? It is nothing but the data in the form of signals or in the form of waves. That is analogous computer. Now next one is digital computer. Nowadays we heard computer is a digital computer. So what is the meaning of digital computer? So it is nothing but these are the computer works with the digits. What are digits? Digits are from zeros and one. It used to work with only two values. We say zeros and one. And all operations are carried out with the help of zeros and one or different combination of zeros and one based on application. So this is a type of computer it used to process digital data and as well as it gives us digital information. So this is digital computers. These are those that operate with information numerical or otherwise represented in the in a digital form. So here input as well as output in the form of digits or digital form information and such computer process data into a digital value that is nothing but zeros and one they give result with more accuracy and at a faster rate so what is the advantage of this so digital data which are more accurate as compared to analogous data and which it is as compared to the performance the speed it is faster so this is digital computer now let us move on to next slide. So next one is hybrid computer. So what are hybrid computer? So it is a combination of computers. Those are capable of accepting input and output in both digital and analogous signals. And hybrid computer system setup offers a cost effective and method of performing calculus simulations. This hybrid computer is nothing but it is a combination of analog as well as digital computers. So here, I mean, this is a computer used to work with both the data, analogous data as well as, well as a digital data and used to uh, produce a result in analogous as well as digital form. And it, there will be a separate section or separate division to process analogous as well as digital data in a computer system. So hybrid computer, it is the combination of a features of analog as well as features of digital computer to form a hybrid computer it used to process analog as well as digital data so this is hybrid computer in our next session we are going to talk about again classification computer based on configuration thank you very much